Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another awesome math video. This one I'm going to do on multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. So first of all, a binomial is something with two terms. So you can see I've got an example here, um, x plus 2. And a trinomial is something that has three terms. So you can see an example here I have um, x squared plus 4x minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through this example and I'm pressing every button here in the world. Um, I'm going to take you through this example of how to multiply these two. So really multiplying these two is really not that different than multiplying say um, this. And I'll just write this on the side here. Something like 2x times x plus 3. So it's really not that different than actually doing this. And why I say that is because we use the same property, distribution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 2x I'm going to multiply it to the x, and then I'm going to multiply it um, to the 3, just like that. So I distribute through the bracket. So you might be asking, what does that have to do with this? Well, I'm going to do the exact same thing with this guy. So you'll see now. So I'm going to take this entire thing, so I treat it as sort of one thing, and I'll multiply it to the x squared, multiply it to the 4x, and multiply it to the negative 1. So what I end up with is this x squared times x plus 2 and then plus 4x times x plus 2 and then plus negative 1 x plus 2. So you could have wrote subtract here if you wanted to, but I like to, to keep it consistent and put whatever I have um, right there. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to pause this bad boy for a second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so now what i got to do, and I have to distribute again three more times. So I have to go through with the x squared to each one of these terms, the 4x, and then the negative one. So you have to be really careful. There's a lot of little places that you can make mistakes and things like that. So make sure you take your time when you're going through this and show all your steps. So what we have now, x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times two is two x squared. And then four x times x is four x squared. Four x times two is 8x and then negative 1 times x is subtract x and then negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 so that's why I like to put the negative 1 here just to remind myself that I'm distributing with a negative sometimes when people put the just subtract there they forget that they have to change the sign of the second number so you have to be really careful so now I want to combine like terms so usually you get two sets you get these guys right here and then you get these guys right here that you have to reduce. So I'm left with x cubed, and then I'll put these together so that becomes 6x squared. Then I'll put these two, these two guys together so that becomes 7x, and then last but not least, the minus 2. So there I go, I distributed out that um, binomial times a trinomial. So let me do one more example and hopefully you'll get the get the the hang of things there. So this example not much different. Um, you got a binomial times another trinomial. So uh, I'm going to take this entire thing. And I'm going to distribute through. To each one of these. So I end up with 2x squared times x minus 2 plus negative 3x. Again, I'll do plus the negative just to remind myself about the negative. x minus 2. And then plus 4. x minus 2. So now I'll do distribution three more times. So there's my first one. Second one. And then the third one. So I end up here with, again, 2x cubed 
minus, and then 2x squared times 4 uh, times 2 is 4x squared. Subtract 4x squared. And then I have three, negative 3x times that, so that's negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times negative 2 is plus 6x plus 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then I have to clean up these like terms here. And that leaves me with 2x cubed minus, so this uh, 4x squared time, uh, minus 3x squared is 7x squared. And then that's 6x plus 4x, that's 10x minus 8. And there it is. There's my multiplying through by a binomial into a trinomial. So guys, I really hope this helped. Um, this is one of those skills, sort of a little bit robotic, but you got to know how to do it. It's a good algebra skill. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in class. Take it easy.